Hi guys, today we're taking a look at a 60% mechanical RGB keyboard. So this particular one is from Royal Kludge and it's the RK61. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So this particular keyboard also can be connected wirelessly using Bluetooth to three different devices and you can flip between the different ones. And in terms of price, it comes in under £40 on banggood.com. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. You get a user manual, which is multi-language. You get a cable, which is USB type A to type C. Cable quality seems fine, all rubbery in feel on there. And there's a Velcro strap just to keep it nice and tidy. In terms of length, you get 172 centimeters with this cable. And you get a plastic key puller here, so you can remove the plastic keycaps off the keyboard. Now looking at the keyboard, you can see for yourself, very nice and compact in terms of design. So when they say 60%, obviously the rest is all chopped off and you can access that functionality just by going to the function key. So if you look on there, you can see the cursor keys here and you've also got the basic things like print screen, scroll lock, pause, etc., on there too. In terms of build, it does feel very good, nice and solid build, doesn't feel light and cheap in any way. And if I come in close, you can see for yourself, this is the white version looks really nice and if I show the corner here you've got their branding just there coming around the side you can see has a slight angle to this so this version has the blue switches in there so clicky tactile feel to them now coming around the back you can see the point where you'd plug in the type C connector on there Come around the other way nothing more on there now looking underneath you've got four rubber pads obviously to stop it slipping on a surface and if I come in there close you can see you got an off and on button and that's for the Bluetooth mode of things. Power rating details over here, so five volts, 200 milliampers. And looking just over here, there's no sort of stands on there, so you don't need to raise it, only because obviously it's already raised if you look at it from a side profile there. So next, let me remove a couple of the keycaps so you can see the switches just underneath there. Pull them off, simple as that to do. So there you go, you can see the blue mechanical switches over here. There's a sound pressing them, obviously. Very clicky noise. Obviously that's expected with the switch there. In terms of the feel and the quality of the buttons, they actually feel okay. They don't feel too bad. You can see there, there's a slight bit of motion on there, but nothing too bad. And even the motion of clicking feels pretty good on here. In terms of connectivity on the keyboard, you can plug in the cable at the back, the Type-C connector, and plug it straight into your computer. Or, as I've mentioned, you've got three different Bluetooth connectivity options on there. To flip between them, it's literally a matter of holding onto function, and you've got one, two, three here to flip between them. And to turn on Bluetooth, there's a button underneath, which I've just shown a moment ago. It's got a battery built in inside, so it can use it wirelessly. And on standby, they say you can get up to 360 hours. And on continuous usage, you can get 10 hours out of this. So let's turn on the Bluetooth and see what the colors are like on here. Absolutely stunning, really. For a 40 pound keyboard, the quality you're getting from the RGB backlit on here is absolutely amazing. I didn't expect the quality to be as good as this. Now, in terms of colors and options, you've got 17 different color modes on here. You can flip between the modes. You can speed up the transitions you're seeing over here and you can even change the color on the transition. So you've got a rainbow effect at the moment, but you can go for a singular effect. So I'll show that in a bit. So first of all, let's just do a quick typing test. So there you go, very nice clicky feel to the switches on here. Next, let me just go through the different color options so you can see for yourself the different effects you can get on here. And just a note, to flip between them, it's just a case of holding on to function and the key here. If I flip between these two, you've got brightness level, so I'll show that first. You can see brightness going down to the minimum, taking it up. 
when it gets the maximum flashes red and then the transition effect you see coming across here that can be changed as well just these two keys here so if I take that down flash is red indicating it's on the minimal setting you can see the transition is quite slow and now if I take it up flash is red again indicating it's at the maximum now you can see it's going much faster across there and now to flip between colors in that particular mode it's just a matter of holding on to function and the key over here So lots of options on here. So let me run through all the different colors on here so you can see for yourself. there you go You've seen for yourself absolutely stunning so I think this is an absolute bargain really for 40 pounds you're getting premium build feel to this not cheap and nasty in any way color wise looks absolutely stunning and the fact you can even connect via Bluetooth and use wirelessly I think that's a bonus with this so there you go. I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details are in the description below including purchasing links hang around for the end cards I'll have some more gaming tech drop me a like as it helps the channel out big time and let me know what you thought of this keyboard thanks for viewing and see you in the next one